Along with our regulars, Harvey Corman, Lyle Wagoner, and Vicki Lawrence, our special guests are Paul Sand and Steve Lawrence. I'm five feet two. <laughs> what are the rest of the measurements? You <laughs> 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 dirty old. 37 and a half, 24 and 36. Not necessarily in that order. <laughs> We're waiting to become famous. You're waiting to become famous. What should you do in the meantime? What you're doing right now is terrific. <laughs> right now you're on network television. You're making you're okay. Yes. Yeah. I have a picture for Vicky Lawrence. You have a picture for Vicky? Yes, I will tell her, and perhaps during a tape stop she can uh, get it from. What's your name? Uh, Ron Clark. Uh, Ron Clark? Yes. Uh, Vicky, there's a Ron Clark out here with a picture to give you, so when you're ready, come out, and Ron's in the second row. Yes. Hello there. Hi. It's just a pleasure to be here. Thank you. Are you from England? I'm from Rhode Island. Oh. Isn't that, you sounded to, at first like you have an English accent. Oh, really? It's sort of a Boston mixture. Boston mixture, type. yes. I understand. And I just wanted to say, you want our, your cameras, by the way, we make them. <laughs> yes, I'm still telling you the lady in Rhode Island. We make the cameras, the Norelco, and the tubes in them. You make the tubes that are in our cameras? Yes. <laughs> She's the one. <laughs> junk food except on weekends. And, and I don't nosh in between meals. Yes? I'm Shirley Sherrata from Ventura, and I'd like to ask you when you're going to do another special with Julie Andrews. Oh, hi, Shirley from Ventura. Uh, Julie and I would love to do another special. She's living in England now. She sounds a lot like the lady from Rhode Island. And uh, she's living in England now, and the next one we hope to do would be from the London Palladium, hopefully within a year or two. Yes? that my aunt right here, her birthday's the same day that you're born. 26, hi! Now, are you a typical Taurus? Do you have a rising sign, or do you know what it is? No, I don't. Oh, find out, because mine is Pisces. And so that's, that kind of balances it, supposedly. You're Capricorn, hi. Okay, let's see. We got the bulls and the goats. Any jackasses? <laughs> Exercise with Jack Leilani, next on this station. Okay, well, good morning, ladies. This is well-built Jack Leilani again, and it's time for your morning exercises. Now, if you've been following me closely these past few weeks, you should have lost a few of those excess pounds, those muscles. So come on, let's get on with the exercises. You know, it's important to keep in shape. Because we don't want you looking like five pounds of stuffing in a ten-pound bag. <laughs> Are we all in our exercise outfits? <laughs> Good. Okay, now let's loosen up by running in place. Ready and go. A one, two, one, two. That's it. That's it. That's it. Faster, faster. Keep on going. Come on. Let's go on to the next one. Now, this is to loosen up those hips and your torso. So, first of all, put your hands on your hips and swing. Lift, swing. Left. <laughs> Remember how we 
used this the other day. Well, we're going to try it again now. Get your chair and turn it around so the back faces you. Now lean forward, holding it with your hands, and then lift your right leg up as far as you can, putting all your weight on the chair. Ready? And go! One. <laughs> starts bringing you flowers and taking you out to nightclubs. So let's work hard and tighten up the flab, ladies. All right. Now for our next exercise. Let's get down on the floor. Now, with your hands at your side, get your legs stiff on the floor and just sit up. This will tighten up the old tum-tum. Ready? And one...
Jessica, what? Matthew, we're going to have a baby. <laughs> I know, sweetheart, I know. Good night. Well, you don't seem very excited about it. I am excited, excited. Well, you don't act very excited. Excited? Please, I have to go to sleep. Matthew, I didn't ask you to do anything. I just said I wish you'd act like you were thrilled about becoming a father, that's all. I mean, gee whiz, you didn't even buy any cigars. Jessica, I've got to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I've got to get some... Please, let me go to sleep. All right, I'm sorry. My sweet, good night. I love you. Oh, I love you. Good night, I know you need your sleep. Good night. Good night. Good night, Matthew. Good night, sweetheart. Let me tuck you in. Okay. <laughs> good night, darling. Good night, darling. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Good night, darling. Good night. Pleasant dreams. Okay. You haven't felt my stomach for days. Jessica, now come on, please. Well, you don't have to yell at me. I was on it. I'm sorry. Good night. I'm sorry, sweetheart. Good night. about becoming a father, aren't you? Yes, Jessica. I'm very excited about your baby. <laughs> my baby? What do you mean, my baby? I didn't mean that. I what didn't... do you mean, my you... baby? That's what you said. It was a slip of the tongue. I that is all. It was a slip of the tongue. You said it, so you must have meant it. I didn't mean it's it. It's baby. What I... do you mean, my baby? I want to go to sleep. You're jealous. Oh, you're you're jealous. jealous. Oh, you go to sleep. That's what it is. Between a husband and his wife, I darling. That. I mean, I'm 
that I share everything with you, even the pain. <laughs> Did you feel it? Feel what? We just had another contraction. You did? Yes. It, 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 it start, starts out as nothing at first, and then it just keeps growing and growing in waves until you hear it comes another one. Yeah. Yeah. I think I really did. I think I really did. Yeah. Good. <laughs> what am I going to do? Uh, pant, Matthew, pant like they taught us in class. Yes. <laughs> A little bit. What are you doing, honey? I'm going to call the hospital. Oh, thank you. Uh, hello? Penny. Hello? Uh, this is Mrs. Matthew Hoffman. Could you please send an ambulance? Yes, to 16 Green Street. My husband and I are having a baby. Hang in there, honey. <laughs> This is Walter Leff. In her office. In her office memo. DG Keys. Keys. I got eight bullets in me, Keys. But I'm going to try to hang on a couple of seconds because I got to tell you. I got to tell Oh, you're working late, eh, Mr. Leff? Yeah, that's right, Pop. Oh. <laughs> hey, you, you seem a little under the weather. Yeah. Just one of those days, you know. Pop. Yeah, me too. My, my arthritis is flaring up again. Yeah. Why don't you why don't you get out of here, Pop, huh? I I got a score to settle. Roller coaster to get off and a movie to narrate. <laughs> well, there's no rest for the wicked, I guess. Come on, get out of here, will you, Pop? Get out of here. Never did like him. <laughs> All right, Keys. Time is running out. I gotta tell you who killed Dietrichson. I killed him. I killed him for money and a dame. I didn't get the money and I didn't get the dame. <laughs> easy come, easy go. It all started back. Oh! <laughs> started back on 11th, 1938. Dawned, much like your ordinary morning. I got up, got dressed, showered, brushed my teeth, used my dental floss, massaged my gums. <laughs> then I went over to see Dietrichson about the new auto renewal. It was a routine house on a routine street in a routine neighborhood. So I rang the routine bell for the routine renewal call. Sit out of my way, sister. I'll wait. What is it, Maria? I, uh, I want to see Mr. Diedrichson. I'm Mrs. Diedrichson. Could I be of some... Ouch. <laughs> some help, baby. Excuse the way I look, but uh, I've been sunbathing. At night? <laughs> I burn easily. You, uh, 
Always wear that anklet when you moon bathe, baby. Don't race your motor, Mr. Uh... Left. Left. Right. I... <laughs> Say, um, if you pro... Ouch. If you, uh... If you promise to keep your hands off me, why don't I slip into something more comfortable and I'll be right down? I'll slip into neutral. <laughs> Just keep my motor running. Right, Mr. Uh... Left. Right. right. <laughs> I didn't keep you waiting too long. Well, as long as you're here, you might as well park it. That's one swell anklet you got there, baby. Say, so you've got a pretty swell anklet yourself. Yeah, well, uh... Maybe, uh... Maybe they should get together, huh? Look, uh, Mr. Leff. Right. There's a speed limit in this town. Yeah, well, I'm allowed 45 in this area, baby. Yeah, well, I'd say maybe you're going more than 90. Yeah? Well, suppose I am. Well, suppose you slow down. Suppose I don't, baby. Suppose you get a ticket. Suppose you don't. Suppose I call my husband. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, you see, uh, I gotta get a signature on this auto insurance renewal. Insurance, huh? Yeah, you know, auto, life, accident. Accident? Say, suppose you do me a favor. Suppose you get my husband to sign an accident insurance policy, but don't let him... Think I am some kind of chump? <clears throat> All right, where is he? I'll kill him. Gosh, you're swell. Yeah, so am I. <laughs> What's your first name? First name? Uh, uh, Walter. Walter? Yeah, Walter. Oh, that's a swell name, Walter. Right? What's yours? My name's Phyllis Walter. Phyllis Walter? Yes, no, Walter. Yours, your name. Mine's Phyllis. Well, hello there, little darling. Your hubby's home. Oh, I'm sorry. I see we have some company. Make yourself at home, sir. Oh, what's a big idea? You're home early, and I bet you didn't bring me any presents either. Isn't she a sweet thing? She brightens up my day, I'll tell you. Well, where are my manners? I may I offer you a drink, Mr. Uh, uh, what was the name? Left. Left? Right. Right. <laughs> well, how are you, my little sugar pump? Oh, questions, questions, questions! That's all I ever get from you, nothing but questions. Why am I so persecuted? Why do you always spy on me so much? I'm sick of it, do you hear me? Sick, 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 sick! <laughs> Isn't she precious? Well, Mr. Leff. Uh... Yes, uh, Leff. I'm with uh, Capital Insurance. I just dropped by to get you to sign your auto renewal insurance. Yes, uh, well, I'll be right with you, Mr. Leff. I have to go wash my ten little people here. I'll be right back. Here's the church. There's the steeple. Open it up, and here's the people. <laughs> All right, baby. All right, I'll kill him. Oh, Walter, will you? I'll tell you what I'm going to do. What? He'll think he's signing two copies, you see, of the uh, renewal. Yeah. But actually, one copy is going to be the insurance policy. Oh, Walter, that's great. Now, look, as long as he doesn't read it, we're going to make it, baby. To the end of the line. Just you and me to the end of the line. To the end of the line. Mwah. Wait a minute, baby. What? we got to get a witness. A witness? Yeah, my boss, Mr. Keyes. He gets very suspicious. Oh, I know just the witness. I'll get my mealy mouth, pipsqueak little stepdaughter, Lola. Oh, that boy, I can't stand her. Lola! Lola, dear! What is it, stepmother? I want you to come down here and witness your daddy signing some papers. Oh, Phyllis, now? Yes, now. Oh, right. Hi!
Is that you, Walter? Yeah, baby, is that you? Yeah, it's me, Walter. Is that you? Yeah. Oh, Walter, I can't go on like this not seeing you. I... <sighs> Walter? Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, baby, is that you? Yeah. Listen, baby. Yeah. I've been thinking. Yeah? Would you rather get the 50,000? Or would you like to get twice that much? Twice that much would be double. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Look, we can take advantage of the double calamity clause. What's that? The double calamity clause? Yeah. That means we have... Go ahead. Oh. Excuse me, please. <laughs> is that you, Walter? Yeah, baby, is that you? Yeah, go uh, ahead. Now look, if we collect the double calamity, uh -huh. and if he dies in one train, yeah. drown in a submarine, uh -huh. or fall from a blimp, <laughs> look, is he going to be traveling in any one of those soon? He's taking a blimp to San Francisco tomorrow night. Good, good. All right, baby, now look, here's my plan. What? What? I, I didn't catch that. What, Walter? What? what? He said he'd come over to your place tomorrow and strangle your husband and throw his body out of a blimp. <laughs> Get out of here. Walter, is that what you said? Yeah, baby. I hope she didn't hear it. Yeah. Let me see. Move your marble. Why do you always take so long between moves and Chinese checkers anyway? No, no, I think my little sugar plum is getting cranky because she's losing. <laughs> lean forward when you make a move. Anybody would think your arms are only two inches long. I think Tilly Temper is getting tired of playing. <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. I don't know what it is with me. I'm, I'm just on edge. I, I think it's my anklet. Oh. It's cutting into my circulation. Come on, sit back and relax. Oh. We did it, Walter. We did it. Oh, oh, baby. Oh. Walter. Yeah, baby. Now the hard part is over. Now it's a snap, Walter. All you have to do is inconspicuously drag him to a blimp and throw him off without anybody noticing. Yeah, yeah baby. Here are the blimp tickets. Now what are you going to do? Well, I'll just stay here and clean up the marbles. Fair enough. The rest of it was a snap. I got him on a blimp and pushed him off without anybody noticing, with the possible exception of 100,000 people at the Rose Bowl game. <laughs> I was sure our plan had worked. We were getting closer to that hundred grand. I was playing it cool when you called me into your office a few days later, Keys. Come on in, Walter. I want to talk to you. Uh, 
another one of my stinking hunches about this Diebigson thing. Oh? Yeah. Just doesn't add up. There's a man with a bullet in his back, his mouth full of marbles. He's fallen out of a blimp. And he ends up in a rose bowl stuffed in a tube. <laughs> you two alone. You can use my office as long as you want. Big luck. <laughs> Mr. Leth, do you know who killed my late father? No, give me a hint. My stepmother, Phyllis. Yeah, that's a good hint. <laughs> Mr. Leth, is it any wonder that sometimes I think she's an old meanie? If I were you, I'd move out. Believe me, I'm tempted. If I could only find a nice place with a pool and not too many little kids around. <laughs> anyway, somebody helped her murder my father, and I think it was Nino Zapparetti. Which Nino Zapparetti? Nino Zapparetti, he's the one that used to go with me. Well, now he's seeing Phyllis, and together the two of them are planning to knock off some dumb insurance agent. Oh, that Nino Zapparetti. And then it dawned on me. It was the old double cross. She couldn't know two dumb insurance agents. I set up a date with her and began to make plans. I didn't know she was making plans of her own. All right, baby. It's time we cleared the air. It's your nickel. Sure is. Sure as 30 of them make a dollar 27. <laughs> All right, baby. Suppose you tell me how many dumb insurance agents you know. Suppose I tell you one. Suppose I tell you I thought so. Suppose I tell you I don't care. <laughs> hmm. Suppose I tell you goodbye. Suppose I tell you good riddance. <laughs> Suppose I tell you, you really know how to hurt a guy. Suppose I tell you that... that I'm sorry I shot you. Walter, I've never felt like this before, but... I don't know, something's come over me, something kind of crazy. And Coco, Walter, I don't know, maybe it's that cute, hurt look in your eyes. But Walter, I... I love you, Walter. I guess I... Make the wrong time to tell you, didn't I, Walter? Sorry, baby. I guess I just lost. We could have been good for each other, baby. We have so much in common. You said a mouthful. Merry-go-rounds. We had a lot in common, baby. Such <laughs> a shooting gallery. Yeah. Oh, I got a run in my stock. <laughs> baby. Uh, Walter. <coughs> yeah. Is that you, baby? That's me, Walter. Yeah. You think it's too late to pick up the pieces? That's it, Keys. I did it. Me and the tomato with the anklet. Well, that's my story, Keys. 
I'm signing off now. Oh, nuts. I forgot to turn this thing on. <laughs> oh, well. <clears throat> it all started like any other morning. April 11th, 1938. Good night, Walter. I heard the whole thing. Oh, keys. Hope you... Hope you're not too disappointed in me. Oh, you're all washed up in the insurance game, I'll tell you that much. Oh, please, Keys. Give me another chance, will you? Okay. <laughs> oh, by the way, somebody out here to see you. Songs like A Pretty Girl is Like a Melody, White Christmas, Top Hat, Heat Wave, The Score of Annie Get Your Gun, and over 500 others. And this is his 85th year. So tonight we're gonna lie. 85 bravos and 85 cheers. Is the army, Mr. Jones? Yes, is the army. 
tell you no lie. How deep is the ocean? How high is the sky? Be sure to be with us next week when our guests will be Tim Conway and Petula Clark. And remember, people start pollution, and only people can stop it. I'm so glad.